a hello, you wondrous child of God. Welcome to Bible Bedtime, Season 5, Episode 220. I am your host, Dana. And in this podcast, I read a full chapter of the Bible in a way that will help you drift off to sleep in heavenly peace. Because this is season five, we are reading through the fifth book of the Old Testament, Deuteronomy, and then the fifth book of the New Testament, Acts. As I've done in previous seasons, we are starting with the Old Testament and then moving on to the New. After the chapter I will read a full chapter from the book of Psalms and then finish, as we do each episode, with the Lord's Prayer. If you'd like to support this ad-free podcast with a love offering, we are on Venmo. Just enter at Bible Bedtime or search for Bible Bedtime Podcasts. All the links are in the show description, and even a gift of a dollar helps me offset the costs of producing the show and blesses me tremendously. However, I have no expectation that you do this. We are all doing the best we can. If you would like to reach out to me or the Bible Bedtime community, you can send an email to me at BibleBedtimePodcast at gmail.com or you can join our Facebook group. I would love to hear from you. Now, with all of the introductions finished, it's time for you to start settling in and getting ready to fall asleep. Falling asleep is something you have done since the first day you were born. In fact, you've been doing it since before you were born, as they know that babies in the womb have times when they are asleep and they are awake. It is so natural and such a habit and yet sometimes in our humanness and our desire to fight that which should be natural sometimes we struggle falling asleep and I suspect you may be someone who does struggle like I do which is the whole purpose behind Bible Bedtime. I started this podcast not because I wanted to start a podcast, (laughs) but because I was looking for a Bible podcast that would just read the Bible to me in a soft way without loud sound effects or our actors or yelling and when I couldn't find that podcast I wanted I realized that maybe that was something God wanted me to do myself so here we are 220 episodes later And it has blessed me tremendously to do this podcast. And I hope and pray it's done the same for you. Hopefully, as I've been rambling, you have been settling in to bed and turning off any lights that may keep you awake and turning off any distractions. As you settle into your bed, 
Get into your favorite sleeping position. Get your head to just right. Get the covers just right. I think we all have a certain way we like the covers to be when we're falling asleep. So go ahead and get those where you like them so that you feel comfortable. Now, as is our habit, let's take three deep breaths. One, two, and three. That's lovely. Deuteronomy 5. Moses summoned all Israel and said, Hear, O Israel, the decrees and laws I declare in your hearing today. Learn them and be sure to follow them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. It was not with our fathers that the Lord made this covenant, but with us, with all of us who are alive here today. The Lord spoke to you face to face out of fire on the mountain. At that time, I stood between the Lord and you to declare to you the word of the Lord because you were afraid of the fire and did not go up the mountain. And he said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy, as the Lord your God has commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son or daughter, nor your manservant or maidservant, nor your ox, your donkey, or any of your animals nor the alien within your gates, so that your man-servant and maid-servant may rest as you do. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt, and that the Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore, the Lord your God has commanded you 
to observe the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live long and that it may go well with you in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not set your desire on your neighbor's house or land, his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. These are the commandments the Lord proclaimed in a loud voice to your whole assembly there on the mountain from out of the fire, the cloud and the deep darkness. And he added nothing more. Then he wrote them on two stone tablets and gave them to me. When you heard the voice out of the darkness, while the mountain was ablaze with fire, all the leading men of your tribes and your elders came to me. And you said, The Lord our God has shown us his glory and his majesty, and we have heard his voice from the fire. Today, we have seen that a man can live even if God speaks to him. But now, why should we die? This great fire will consume us, and we will die if we hear the voice of the Lord our God any longer. For what mortal man has ever heard the voice of the living God speaking out of fire as we have and survived. Go near and listen to all that the Lord our God says Then tell us whatever the Lord our God tells you. We will listen and obey. The Lord heard you when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard what this people said to you. Everything they said was good. Oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commands always, so that it might go well with them and their children forever. Go, tell them to return to their tents, but you stay here with me so that I may give you all the commands, decrees, and laws you are able to teach them to follow in the land I am giving them to possess. So be careful to do what the Lord your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Walk in all the way that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days 
in the land that you possess. Psalm 1 Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in Heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen.